If you're looking to fly this fall, time is running out to make sure that you have the proper ID to be allowed to board an airplane. Starting in October 1st, every person will have to have an upgraded driver's license to a real ID. To date, millions of Americans have not upgraded. The TSA issued the change in response to the 9-11 terror attacks. All states now have the same guidelines in issuing a driver's license. To get a real ID, you have to bring your birth certificate or a passport, social security card, and two forms of approved paperwork showing where you live. It's really what these requirements are, are about protecting people's identity. And so when you're able to explain to people why you're doing what you're doing is really for their benefit so that it makes it more difficult for someone to steal their identity and cause them a lot of heartache, most people are willing to comply. Well, here's what a real ID looks like. They have a star in the top right hand corner of your screen. Most people in Nebraska are in compliance. If you don't get the real ID by October, you can still travel, but you'll need a passport, military ID or tribal identification. For a complete list of approved documents, visit tsa.gov slash real ID.